Corner Cable News, New York One, all day. Visiting nurses are braving the bitter cold to make sure some of the city's most vulnerable residents are taken care of. New York One's Bronx reporter Erin Clark has the details. Laura Calbo is 96 years young and she's lived through her share of harsh winters. My mother took a super's job to get free coal because we couldn't afford to buy coal, we couldn't afford to get wood, and we took a super's job that she would make the hot water for the tenants, and that's how we got free coal, and we got a coal stove in our kitchen. Now that she's seen more than a couple of decades go by, Calbo can't get around the way she used to. She's home most of the time now, recovering from an infection that landed her in the hospital for three weeks. We'll take deep breaths. Part of that recovery includes visits from Sultana Alabasic with the Visiting Nurse Service of New York. Any Bye. shortness of breath when you walk? She typically conducts a short medical exam, but Tuesday, because of the frigid temps, Alabasic stayed with Calbo a bit longer with advice she gives all her Clients. Making sure that the environment, their home is well heated and if not, you know, educating them on how to uh, report. Reinforcing that uh, unless no dire need do they need to go out in this frigid weather and also dressing warm like if it's not that warm in here, layers. Even if there are suggestions, that should go without saying. Even though it's common sense at home, we, you know, sometimes we don't put an extra layer. And you find people too, you know, you, you have the heat on but yet they're in their night clothes. After checking in with Calbo, it's back out in the cold for Alabasic, who visits about seven people a day. Calbo is her third client with several more stops to make. Alabasic is also heeding the advice she's giving others. I'm usually a walker. I walk in the neighborhood, you know, I walk to different patients, but right now I try to get parking as close as possible. I dress in layers myself. I have my Ugg boots on. I have undergarments. It's, it, you really have to dress. And I try to actually walk where the sun is, not in between where the, <laughs> it's not so sunny, just to keep a little warm. It's a bitterly cold day, but for for many, still a day of work, so they'll just bundle up and get the job done. In the Bronx, Aaron Clark, New York One.